Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What are you looking forward to most in the next version of Windows? What is likely being called Windows 7 right now? Uh, I asked you guys uh, your feedback, and some of you responded, which is nice to see. But uh, I don't think anybody is as passionate as Zach here. He sent in 30 things he was looking forward to in Windows 7. So I'm just going to read off his ideas uh, of what he'd like to see. And here's what I want you to think about. Number one, what are you looking forward to most in the next version of Windows? And what could you offer as suggestions for Zach here? Because I know there are ways that he can kind of get these features today uh, with software enhancements or just some small tweaks. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to share the list. I'm not going to read the points. However, he's got 30 of them here. An internet connection tray icon that shows you the signal strength if you're on Wi-Fi. No UAC. He says it's, no, it's annoying and everybody knows it. Even Ponzi thinks that user account control is annoying. That's my little addition there. Being able to rearrange tray icons. One version. It'd be nice not to have to stand in line reading all the Windows 7 version boxes. Multiple desktops. Productivity goes up with virtual desktops. And he says a hint for Microsoft is to look at Mac OS X spaces. A better start menu. He says, I feel Microsoft has yet to succeed in a good start menu design. Backup software. Sure, they have volume shadow copy, but you can only get that now in Windows Vista Business and Ultimate. Built-in screen capture. You never know when you'll need it. Better zooming functionality like in OS X. Improve paint. Having a good image editing program built into an OS is always helpful. Better search. Windows search can be handy if it's implemented in a different way instead of it primarily being in the start menu. Well, I think it kind of goes without saying that Windows search could be handy if it was implemented in any other way other than the way it was implemented. Some Office suite included. It doesn't have to be Office, but maybe they could spark a deal with OpenOffice to put that onto Windows. Right. <laughs> well, it's his list. Better virus protection. Face it, Windows and every other OS will always have viruses, but Microsoft can include better protection than just Defender. Maybe they could just put Windows Live One Care only with the virus protection. I think the reason why they wouldn't do that, though, is antitrust reasons. Get rid of the sidebar and add something new. Just get rid of it. Nobody likes it. Make another gadget system, or just get rid of it. Make all the Windows applications much better. By Windows applications, I mean Windows Movie Maker, Windows DVD Maker. They have potential for more if more features are added. Drop Media Player. It's a horrible application that never should have been made. People should just download iTunes or another media app. Improved speed optimization. Energy efficient. Smaller OS. The OS could be a lot smaller in time. Better setup assistant. The setup should be short, simple, and easy. No registration. Or, and I, I, I think that you don't have to register Windows. I think you may actually be referring to activation. I don't think that's going to change, though. Consumer-based version and a business-based version. I don't know if that quite contradicts uh, having one version of Windows, but I, I, I think his point is is understood in a direct sense. You know, have one that's outwardly consumer and then one that's specifically pitched to businesses. In a consumer version, a fair amount of UIs for better customization. Okay, so let me try to translate that. I think he wants more customization in the interface. IE8 should be faster. It's really a suggestion for IE in general, but it's a feature of Windows, so it's okay to mention. Music editing program. Audacity doesn't work on Windows Vista for me, and it's nice to have it built in. Chat client. Sure, there are good chat clients on Windows, uh, or out there, but I bet Microsoft can make a great client built in. It also shouldn't be Live Messenger. Better multi-core support. Improved graphics. I've seen in Vista some graphics that have pixels in the wrong places, and it may just be bad quality. Be able to rearrange Windows boxes in the taskbar. Build in RAR extraction support. Many people use RAR, and although you can buy WinRAR, I think that's the name, that's what he, he, he mentions, and that is the name, WinRAR, it would be nice to have free built-in software. Those are his 
30 uh, wishes for Windows 7. I know a few of them uh, are likely never going to happen, but there is his wishes of what he'd want to see in the next version of Windows. Uh, it's interesting, though, how he's comparing what he wants to Mac OS X. Um, or in some cases, you, you, you'd even be looking at uh, happier time on Linux. Um, and you can do that now. Of course, uh, I'm not going to say that uh, Linux is better than Windows uh, or that Windows is better than Linux. However, I think the bottom line is you have to find the OS that fits you. Uh, it's good to have a wish list. And believe me, I, I think even though I, I, the, it was a little awkward to read through this since this wasn't my list, um, you know, I would agree that having uh, a more consistent user experience and having better software out of the box, I think, would contribute on the whole to, um, I guess, a higher satisfaction rating uh, for the operating system. I, I really do hope that Microsoft pulls off something better with Windows 7. I really do. I am rooting for them. And yes, I, I can pretty much guarantee that when the betas of the next version of Windows uh, are uh, put out there, I will apply to uh, look at them and give feedback as to some of the finer points in the experience. Um, Windows is, is a, a different type of operating system. Uh, it has a different set of stressors. And I mean, it's got to deal with a lot of computers. I mean, the hardware. Think about it. Think about how many different types of PCs Windows can run on. It's a lot. And it's got to do its best to run on all those PCs. So it's, it's, Microsoft's got their work cut out for them. Uh, however, I think the stakes uh, have been raised. And will it, it'll be increasingly more difficult for Microsoft to make the right decisions in the consumer space if they're taking that market seriously. So, Zach, uh, appreciate this list. I may have to clean it up before we post it here, but uh, the uh, uh, I think the the heart is there, and I think you, like many other people, just want to see a better operating system on your desktop. So if anybody else has any suggestions or you know wishes, realistic or, or not, for the next version of Windows, uh, feel free to either pass them along or post them as a follow-up remark. And uh, you're also welcome to join us in the chat room. We're talking about operating systems and hardware and internet services. And we just love the world of technology in general. Uh, there's hundreds of people right now in the chat room. It may not look like it because we've got the moderated bit flipped on, but uh, they're here in conjunction with the live video feed that is pretty much getting broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.